One commonality among all MCs is his or her ability to write rhymes. The discipline to write has always been a struggle even among literature's greatest writers. What does it take for today's MCs to write? Certain lines is, I don't know where they come, like when I said she got a light skinned friend, look like Michael Jackson, got a dark skinned friend, look like Michael Jackson. There's no theory behind that line, it's just funny and shit, you know what I'm saying? Whereas other lines have theory behind them, you know, people could say, yo, I'm gonna compare how many throwbacks I got to how many guns I got to how much coke I get, and then it's like, in theory raps. There, there are already formats for that. I like to come up with lines where there's no format for them. Some of my most fun songs I did, like, where I felt like I had to do research and stuff. It felt like a project or a book report or somewhere. I was like, damn. Like, when I did this record called a song for Asada, it was about Asada Shakur, and it stemmed from me just reading her autobiography. And then I was like, man, I want to do a song. Like, people need to know this story. And I went and read the book, like, two or three times. I went down to Cuba. It was like, I had to feel the every element that I could, you know, without being there, so that I could write the story. I make the songs to entertain me. And then I know that others will embrace it too, you know what I mean? So it's all in fun, just tell stories, you know, try to give a little shock. What should I do, y'all? You know, bring about emotion. I think about how they react to a certain point in a song. So, you know, a lot of times I try to build it up like an adventure, like the Alicia Keys song for the whole last verse for about two minutes. She's just talking on a talking on her cell phone to the guy, trying to introduce herself for the first time. And it's just something that people aren't doing on records now, making them more adventurous, turning them into movies.